Cotton Group Aero War Youth Alliance for 2023 has drummed up support for former Lagos State Governor and National Leader of the Governing APC, Aksiwe Jubola Tinubu, as the best presidential material in 2023. The group charged all political parties in Nigeria to commence a process of adopting Tinubu as the sole candidate for Nigeria. In a press statement on Wednesday in Kano by his coordinator, Honorable Bello Lawa Bello said the APC leader has the capacity, a national appeal, and a technical known how management skills to lead and unite Nigeria based on his landmark achievement as Lagos governor and as a national leader of APC with voluminous contribution to succeed or to success of the Buhari administration. We are able to understand that majority of the people from Northern Nigeria believe that when the presidency is zoned to the Southern part of the country, there is this single uh, singular person that has the capacity, capac capability and charisma to take Nigeria to the promised land. And the man, and the man is no any other person than Bola Tinubu. It is the fact that Tinubu is a champion for progress and development, as it was evident with his antecedent why he was the governor of Lagos State. His policies and actions accumulated into a practical development a model that based on research conducted many states in Nigeria have since adopted it and its and its model is also being used by prestigious institutions of learning across the global as one of the successful development and economic models from Africa's largest country he has said meanwhile many nigerians have reacted okay some are of the view that tinubu is the most mentioned name in nigeria political record because his every day is bold on the social media newspapers radio and television and his name is being mentioned one million times every day and what about that he's the the biggest thief and the billionaire Ed Van uh, Stiller, he said. Okay, these are Nigerians reacting and they are still talking. Someone said, Say no to Tinubu, say no to Artiko. A walking dead, God bless Nigeria. I don't know why you people want these people. God will never endorse that. He better be a northern governor if possible. Again, the most I watched news in or whatever that I don't want to hear. This man is, this man, is it really important that all the time we are still continuing talking about him? What is the need for, he said. So I said, can we forget about these old people and talk about how this Nigeria, we move forward with younger generations? Yeah, someone just dropped that. I think I quite, uh, I agree with that comment with this person. Why are we uh, always looking for old people? You know, Tinubu is not that strong. See what we are facing today. Buhari every day is sick, medical vacation, this checkup and all that, you know, wasting taxpayers' money. I'm not trying to say that young people don't sick too, but I'm just trying to compare that instead of bringing these old people, let's try something different. Let the country try something different. Younger people with new ideology, fresh thinkers, this method of now so we did do one before, make we still do one again like this. At least it's not helping out this country. If we can abolish that, I think this country will move forward and so many other things will be put in, in place. We have to move forward. We cannot continue like this. And because of this bad governance, that is why you are seeing 
many regions agitating for their nation. In the uh, uh, southeast, you will see Biafran agitating for Biafra nation. Southwest recently pick up their theirs too. Who knows if by tomorrow, middle bed or whatever, whosoever that is going to come up again and say, no, we don't longer want this country and all that. It's because of the, the way things are being done. Yes, it's because of the way things are being done. People are no longer comfortable with the government. People are tired with what is happening. And it's just like the country is no man's land. But in a way that the country adopts, you know, another method, they should try to push push aside this their old method and look for something different. I believe we move forward. You understand? These people who have been there, the government is not meant for them. Oh. They burn them, burn the government or whatever. People not there. So these people that are saying uh, Tinubu, you know, is the only person that can, you know, pilot the affairs of uh, this country as a president come 2023. So what they are trying to tell us that no any other person, you know, that's a, a qualified to take up that mantle or what are they trying to say? We should we should forget about all these things. Nobody then get the, the, the seat. Let other people try and see how it goes. That is it. This thing is not working and it's not going to work. If we continue like this, we are not going to go anywhere. You understand? We will not go anywhere. So Tinubu, to me, my own opinion, I think he should go and relax. Let him retire. It can, it can be an uh, header statement that, you know, people come to you, you know, you advise and tell people these, these, and this, and that, that is how to do. But at your age, running for presidency and whatever, and you want to become a president, compiling more trouble to your health. <laughs> I don't think this will help you at all. It will not help him. That is just the truth. You should just go and relax at home, retire. That is the best thing. And look for younger generations that can pick up from where you guys stop. So guys, we've all heard it now. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly, kindly drop your view below the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Thank you.